Um, I live in St. Thomas, Ontario. Always have. Uh, and currently, at the moment, always will. <laughs> I'm currently working towards my degree uh, at Brock University to get my concurrent education degree uh, with a specific in uh, history and English. As a camper, I was here for two summers, um, uh, around the 2007. And then as a staff member, I was here from 2015 to 2018. And during my time as a staff, I was both a counselor, um, a programmer for a little while, and then a leadership team member for the CIT program, as well as a uh, world camp and program coordinator. I would say one word that describes my uh, time at Pierce Williams would probably be faith. Um, I went to Pierce Williams to uh, not only get professional development uh, when I was uh, in high school, but also um, I wanted to explore faith a little bit more. I wanted to understand um, what it meant to be spiritual outside of a church, but more inside of a community. And I think Pierce Williams was a really great place where I was able to not only talk to um, uh, older generations about faith, but also my peers who have very similar questions, who have, uh, yeah, just, it was a, it was a really good um, experience in uh, creating foundations of um, virtues and, yeah, <laughs> surrounding faith. Um, I would have to say my favorite camp song would probably be uh, The Prince's Path. It's just, it's so good. It's, it's, it was my favorite the second I heard it. It was my favorite whenever I got to lead it. And whenever I, whenever I saw someone else lead it, I just got super into it. It's, uh, it's just a classic. Um, well, for as long as I can remember, uh, I've always just always been really focused on learning new things and having an interest in learning new things. So um, I've always just really enjoyed school. I've always really enjoyed um, when at my time at Pierce Williams, working with kids and getting to learn with them. Um, so now moving forward, I just thought that what a better way than to spend the rest of my life getting to learn with kids and getting to be there for those really pivotal moments of development. And I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just really excited to be where I am right now. And I think uh, Pierce Williams was uh, a really helpful step in getting there. There was a immersive night back in 2016 um, where there was a camper who just experienced a lot of uh, hurdles within the activity that showed her um, just a lot of realities of privilege and poverty and um, just a lot of things that the activity is trying to connect to. And it was just really awesome to see her at the end of the um, experience um, communicate how she felt being in someone else's shoes. Uh, but she was learning that for herself, but she was also um, teaching her peers, teaching us um, as staff members. And uh, that's just always really stuck with me. I would have to say that's my favorite memory. Um, this probably is gonna be the answer that a lot of people have said, but honestly, to do what needs to be done. Um, I think it's just a really good mentality to tell yourself that no matter what is going on, you, you just need to do what needs to be done in order to be happy, to make sure that the other people around you are supported, to be accountable for what you say, to um, try to make yourself grow as a person. I think doing what needs to be done is a very, uh, a very important lesson that I've taken with me. I would have to say the best piece of advice that I've ever received was from a teacher in high school uh, who told me losing is an educational experience. Um, that when something doesn't go the way you want it to, when something uh, you might be feeling disappointed at the end of something or just plain you lost, um, try to learn from it, try to grow from it, try to change from it and um, make that a an experience that's an important uh, moment in making sure that you win next time or whatever uh, is the equivalent of not losing. <laughs>
Well, I'm doing a lot of readings for school right now. So in my free time, I've decided that uh, I'm teaching myself how to play the ukulele and specifically only Fleetwood Mac songs at the moment. Um, so I've just kind of told myself that there's this, there's a lot of time that I have by myself in this lockdown. So I've always just wanted this random amount of time to learn an instrument. So one thing I would recommend is teaching yourself a new skill, teaching yourself a hobby or teaching yourself tell self an instrument and like trying to teach yourself a skill is very um, good at keeping things mentally sharp, but also keeping yourself inter interested and entertained. Courtney Twista Bennett and Jessica Ica Tenner. I don't think so, except it's just always nice to talk about Pierce Williams. It's a uh, it's it's nice as much as uh, I've really loved going off into the world and trying to exp explore and broaden my horizons. It's always nice to think about camp and whenever I drive by, it's always just nice to, it's just nice to just see the property and just uh, know that it's still going and people are still learning and kids will still be there eventually in the summers. Yeah, um, well, one thing that I've really learned as a staff member from Pierce Williams and really even as a camper is that uh, when you experience Pierce Williams for what it is and you're vulnerable and you open up and you participate and volunteer and are just a part of the community that is Pierce Williams, you have so many opportunities of learning new things, um, learning new things about yourself, but also um, making lifelong friends and um, just making lifelong memories and I think there's so many few places where you can wake up and be five feet away from your best friend. And it's, uh, there's just a lot of beautiful and magical and um, magnificent things about camp. And it's, uh, it's a great place to support and it's a great place to be. Yeah!